In this video, let us learn to draw the ER diagram for the topic Restaurant Management System. So, what is the first step for drawing the ER diagram? First step is we need to identify the entities. So, what is an entity? Entity is an object with physical or conceptual existence. So, now let us identify the entities. An entity must be written inside a rectangular box. So, first let us find out the entities and write inside the rectangular boxes. So, I am drawing a rectangular box. Inside this, I am writing the entity name restaurant. Next, I am drawing another entity rectangular box and writing customer inside it. Next, I am drawing another rectangular box and writing waiter inside the rectangular box. Next, I am drawing a rectangular box and writing tables inside it. I am drawing another rectangular box and writing cleaning team inside it. Next, I am drawing another rectangular box and writing food inside it. Next, I am drawing another rectangular box and writing bill counter inside it. So, restaurant. Restaurant is an entity because restaurant is a building. You are able to touch it physically. Therefore, restaurant is an object which is physically existing. Therefore, this is an entity. Next, customer. Customer is a person. You can physically touch the customer. Therefore, it is an entity. Waiter is also a person. You can physically touch the waiter. Therefore, waiter is an entity. Table. Table is an object. It is physically present. You are able to see the table and you are able to touch the table. Therefore, table is an entity. Next, cleaning team. Cleaning team consists of group of people. So, every person is physically existing. Therefore, it is an entity. Food. Food you, food you are able to touch. Therefore, it is an entity. Bill counter. Bill counter is an entity because it is a building where a person will be taking care of the payment. So, therefore, the entities are restaurant, customer, waiter, tables, cleaning team, food and bill counter. This is the first step. Now, let us look into the second step. In second step, we have to write the attributes corresponding to every single entity separately. So, if you take restaurant, what could be the attribute? So, what is the attribute? It is nothing but characteristic of the entity. So, what are the characteristics of entity restaurant? Name of the restaurant. Next is GST number of the restaurant. This I am underlining because it is a primary key. Because GST number is unique for every single restaurant. So, this is the tax that we pay. So, this is unique for every single restaurant. Next, it is the location of the restaurant. So, primary key we will always underline. Okay. Next, it is the phone number of the restaurant. I am putting double ovals because it is multi-value attribute. Restaurants can provide more than one phone number too. So, now if two numbers are there, one is the landline number and one is the personal number of the restaurant manager maybe. So, those two numbers will be multi-value because more than one value is there. Therefore, it is multi-value. That is the reason why we are putting double ovals surrounded by this phone number attribute. So, these are the attributes of restaurant. Next, let us look into the attributes of customer. Name of the customer. This can be further divided as first name, middle name and last name. So, this is known as composite attribute. If you are able to divide the attribute further, further into many different attributes, then I can call that attribute as composite attribute. Since I am able to divide the name attribute further, I am calling this name attribute as composite attribute. Next, address of the customer. Next, phone number of the customer. Double ovals because it is a multi-value attribute. Customer can also have more than one phone number. 
Next, feedback. Customer will provide the feedback after tasting the food. After tasting the food, when they leave the restaurant, they'll give their feedback. So these are the attributes of the entity customer. Next, what are the attributes of the entity waiter? Waiter will have a name which is further divided as first name, middle name and last name. Therefore, this name attribute is known as composite attribute because you are able to divide it further. Next, salary of the waiter. What is the salary provided to the waiter for doing his or her job? Next, count of waiters. So, in a restaurant, how many waiters are appointed? So, that count is an attribute. Next, address of the waiter is an attribute. Next, again, phone number of the attribute, double oval because it is multi-value attribute. Waiter can also have more than one phone number. Next, tables. Count of tables. So, the attribute is count of tables. How many tables are kept in the restaurant? Next is cleaning team. The attributes can be number of members in a team. So, in cleaning team, how many members are there in the restaurant? Next Team members details, their personal details. It is important. After checking their personal details only, they can appoint the member in the cleaning team or in the restaurant for any job. Next is the shift of the members in the cleaning team. Is it morning shift or is it evening shift? So morning and evening shift. So, these are the two shifts in the cleaning team. Next comes the food. So, when food comes in place, total count of food that the restaurant provides. What is the total count it provides? Next, it is the name of each food provided in the restaurant. Next, whether the food provided is wedge or non-wedge. So, these are the things coming under the food entity. You can also add to sign because Italian or Indian or Chinese. So, which cuisine you want that comes under the food as an attribute. So, these are all the attributes of the entity food. Next, you can also add in another attribute, sorry, another entity which is chef. I'm adding over here another entity which is chef because in the restaurant chef is very important, right? So name of the chef, then speciality of the chef. So in which food, in which preparation of food this particular chef is specialized in? Is it Indian food or some other food? So that is the speciality of the chef. It may be even a specific dish or it can also be the entire cuisine. So that will be the speciality of the chef. What is the next attribute? Total number of chefs present in the restaurant. So these are all the attributes of the entity chef. Next attributes of the bill counter entity. Whether you are going to pay through cash or GPay. or phone pay or through card so these are all the attributes of the entity bill counter so this is the second step after completing this step you have to do the last step which is the relationship you have to draw okay the third step is relationship so, you need to draw lines and draw the diamond box and connect two entities. That is known as relationship. 
So now the first thing is customer draw like this a diamond box. So customer goes to restaurant. This will be the first one. Okay. Customer goes to the restaurant. Second one. Waiter serves the food to the customer. So this is your second relationship. Next relationship is customer orders. Write it inside a diamond box. Orders the food. So this is your third relationship. Customer orders the food. Next relationship is chef cooks the food. So draw a diamond box, write cooks and connect it with food. Chef cooks the food. Next it is restaurant has tables. Next cleaning team cleans the table. Next cleaning team cleans the restaurant. Next customer Pays in the bill counter. So these are all the relationships. So it is like this. Customer goes to the restaurant. Waiter serves the food to the customer. Customer orders the food. Chef cooks the food. Cleaning team cleans the table. Cleaning team cleans the restaurant. Restaurant has tables. Then finally customer pays the bill in the Pays the money in the bill counter. Pays the money for the bill in the bill counter. So this is the flow for the restaurant management system. I hope you all understood. Thank you. If you like this video, please like, subscribe and share it with your friends.